Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make your own boat stand. Are you sick of trying to watch your phone while doing household daily tasks and you have to prop it up on things that don't even work? Well, introducing this new DIY phone stand, I'll take care of that problem so you can watch with ease while doing your tasks. Or do you ever have to study or do some work on your computer and again, you're propping up your phone on the things around you, but any shake of the table will knock down anything. So that sucks. So now that's not gonna be an issue with the DIY phone stand. Or lastly, if you're going to the bathroom and you're brushing your teeth in the morning or putting your makeup on and you're trying to find a spot for your phone, but it keeps falling and trying to put it behind your faucet like me or putting it up against things in your bathroom, well, now not to worry anymore with this new DIY phone stand that you can have for super cheap and do it yourself and I'll take care of that problem so you don't have to worry anymore. Now that I've been spending a lot of time at home, I've been able to tack some of the projects and organization that I've been wanting to do forever. So while I'm organizing or cleaning up in my house or doing things that don't take a lot of thinking, I like to put a show on in the background to kind of watch while I'm doing something. I'm multitasking. I've been watching Drop Dead Diva lately, so that's been my background show and I absolutely love it. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. It's on Netflix. It's kind of like Suits, but a girly, more quirky, version of suits. I love it so much. While I've been organizing and cleaning, it's been kind of hard to find places to actually put my phone. It'll always fall down. Like when I clean my bathroom, I like put my phone behind the faucet. When I'm cooking, I end up putting it on the paper towel rack or whatever is around. So it doesn't stand up very well. So in discussion with me and my partner, we kind of thought of this idea, very, very simple and cheap idea of how I can make a stand that I can just carry around with me and have it ready to be displayed anywhere I go. So this might seem actually a little bit too simple, but you know what, it's been working for me. I've been loving it. I love that it's just so easy to have something to have my phone in. I'm going to be making this with Dollar Tree frames and you know, I don't know what it is with me and the frames. When I look at the Dollar Tree frames, I just get a million ideas. So I'm sorry that I'm making another thing with frames, but man, frames are so versatile and you can do so much with it. So this is so cheap and so easy. So, you know, I am imagining that you are also probably watching a lot of Netflix, lots of YouTube, lots of Disney Plus. If you are looking for ways to watch your phone without it having to fall over constantly like I've been dealing with before, please keep watching. So you're going to need a few materials for this. It's super easy. So you're going to need two frames. So I use size 3.5 times five inches, but honestly you can use whatever size you want for. If you want to make it for an iPad or an iPhone or whatever you need, this worked for me. You're going to need this other mirrored frame that you can also get the Dollar Tree, this hair foam roller, and some felt. And optional later on are some like glitter stickers. So step one is going to be take out the contents of both frames. So we want just to be using the frames at this point. So you just wanna take everything out of there. For one of these frames, you want to be taking out the backings, but again, only one of them. One of them you need them to keep for a next step or later on, but for one of them you want to take it out. So step three will be just to glue the frames together. So the one where you took the backings out, that one's going to be on top and that's why you wanted to take the backings out so you can actually glue this very smoothly and you can see the bottom one has the backing still attached there. So our step four is going to be taking out the mirror from this other frame. Like I love how this frame looks, but we're just using this for the mirror. Step five is going to be taking that mirror and putting it into the frame. So you can see that I added the glass first because the mirror I have is actually a little bit too small, but you want the mirror there to support that because it fits in there perfectly. And then what you want to do is put the contents of the frame back into it. And also too, because the mirror is a little bit small, I did put some stickers around the perimeter of the mirror so that it doesn't move. And then yeah, just put all the backings onto it to secure that. So it's starting to come together here.
So for our next stop, step number six, we're going to take the hair foam roller and we are going to wrap that up in the felt. So I'm using black because I like black, but you can use whatever color you want, but it just makes it look a lot better. Like you could technically use the hair foam roller as is, but just it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing. So wrapping it up in felt helps to create the nice smoothness that I want of this. You can see I'm kind of being sloppy with how I'm gluing this. Like the ends won't matter, like they'll be covered anyways. You just want one side to be really smooth looking. So step number seven is going to be to glue this foam roller wrapped in felt into your frame. So this is going to be a cushion for your phone to make sure that it doesn't fall off. So and it sits there nice and snugly. And so here's the final results of it. So you can keep it super plain, but look at that. My phone fits perfect. The foam rollers supporting it and it's super easy. I ended up adding some bling little gems that I had at home to make it nicer. I love how it looks like this now. And when I first made this, so I just made this purely to watch videos while I'm doing things, but I found that you can use this horizontally or you can use this vertically. So I've been actually using this for conference calls and things when I'm at home doing my work. It's been so perfect to put that. So you can see it's so easy to use. So you just prop it up. Yep. Anything you want me to say? Play, nope. And bada bing, bada boom. You can just take it anywhere with you, place it anywhere you want, whatever distance you want. And hey, you look at that. Something's on my face. Look at that. It it substitutes as a mirror as well. So how awesome is that? So yeah, like honestly, I made this video because when I'm cooking, I literally do this every day. I put my phone on my towel rack, but I have not had that issue at all anymore. It's been so much easier to have this phone stand with me to kind of carry and watch my phone. And I'm studying right now for things at home and I'm doing work from home right now. And again, my phone just falls down and it's so hard to just keep up. So having this nice little dis phone display has been so awesome. And honestly too, I do this like every day, like when I'm brushing my teeth, it's a bad habit I have, but sometimes I like to just put something on to watch to kind of help wake me up. And I literally put it behind my faucet or display it up against my little beauty circle thing there. And it always is falling down. Sometimes it's like falling in the sink. So having this frame has been so helpful. And I'm so curious you guys have the same issues that I do and you watch your phone everywhere and it falls down if so I'd love to know please comment below also you can get bigger frames and use this for iPads as well it doesn't have to be just for the iPhone so thank you so much for watching I know this is really super simple but it's been super functional and super helpful for me so I hope it's helpful for you till next time bye